Okay, so you can see by the title of this video that this is a green smoky eye, more like a fall look. Fall is one of my favorite seasons, like pumpkin spice and kind of like getting into like the colder weather with like sweaters. I normally wear a lot of sweaters anyway, but now I can wear them because it's cold outside. So basically, I'm going to show you how to do this look. It's really simple. Um, I mainly use like three colors. Um, green, brown, and then a transition color, which is like green. So if you want to see it, just keep on watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Bye. Hey guys, I'd like you to welcome you to my very first video. This is going to be a green smoky eye with a very dark lip. Right now I'm just applying my foundation and with the NYC, it's the NYC Barely Beige Foundation. And I really like it. It's really good coverage and it makes my skin look really nice. It's got a hair in my face. It's beautiful. Um, but here is a picture of it right now. And after I'm done putting it on with a little stick, I just blend it out with a damp beauty blender. And my beauty blender is The Real Techniques. I just bought it and I'm loving it so far. So hopefully I will continue to use it. Um, I had a little bit of problems with the beauty blender. So in about a couple seconds, I do switch to a brush to make it all seamless. And this is a brush that I've had for maybe about a year now. And I got it from Target. And it's a really good brush. It's just a basic fluffy brush and I just use it to sometimes blend out my foundation if my beauty blender just does not want to do the trick and sometimes it doesn't now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal true match for my concealer it's a couple shades lighter than my actual skin tone it is in the shade light ivory w2 I use that to go underneath my eyes and do a couple of a little of blemishes and I put it on the eyelids for a eyelid base because I could not find my other stuff. Now I'm just going over it with the same Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blending it all out. The funny thing about this Beauty Blender is it is really like big when you like in like you sponge it out obviously and it gets really really big and it's really crazy. I just put a mirror right in front of the camera i am so sorry <laughs> all right now i'm going to take the nyc smooth skin press powder and i'm going to press this all over my face just to set it i do use this later on in the video to bake i love this powder uh, i got it about a week ago and so far it is it has worked i haven't had any trouble with it the only thing is is that it does leave kind of a film and i don't like that Okay, now I'm going to go on with the concealer again. I'm going to do this trick that I start from the corner, inner corner, or I'm sorry, outer corner, and then I just draw a line. It's kind of like my line for my shadowing, and when I blend out, it does not get all over the foundation we took. So long to do. And again, putting the mirror in front of the camera. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just going to take a brown shade from my BH Cosmetics. I think it's second edition I'm not 100% sure but here's a picture of it um, and we're just going to use this as our transition shade this is also going to be our smokier shade when we do blend out the green which we do do that in a minute and I'd use a couple different brown shades to uh, achieve this effect and it's really easy to blend them out here they are right here just a darker and a medium taupe colored and just go in there with a fluffy blending brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. I really love the the brushes that I use. I use all of them in this video. Now I'm going to go with my Beauty Blender once again in that concealer. And I'm going to put that all over my eyes. This kind of is a wet base to put the green eyeshadow on top of. So it sticks and makes it very opaque. Because I did run out of my chubby stick from NYX. So I have to use the alternative, which is concealer. No biggie. I do use two green shades. This is the darker one. And this is gonna go all over my lid and it's gonna it's very shimmery. So <clears throat> anytime you see me using eyeshadows, they're either gonna be shimmery or almost shimmery. So then I'm just gonna dip in and take this little bit of a lighter shade and put it all over again. This is kind of an on top base color. I go back to the first green color. I just don't know why I didn't put a picture in there. 
but we just continue on the lid and it looks really seamless these um foundation or not these foundation these eyeshadows are really really pretty they're like butter <laughs> honestly it's probably the best eyeshadows i've ever had now i'm going to go in with a deep brown shade to put in my crease it's the same brown that i used at the beginning and we're just going to put that in the crease to define it and to blend it out into the transition color the transition color really isn't a transition color but i think of it as one so there we go and there's the picture of the brown <laughs> and i'm guessing i'm i didn't know i filmed this twice it's the same thing i don't know just going to continue to blend that all right now i am wiping away with the real techniques blending brush blending sponge the line that i had created for my spot so everything was seamless now I'm just going to take a clean brush and wipe away all of the bakage and fix my lines on my face and just blend it down, making everything smooth and good to go. Now I'm going to bake my face for my contour. The only reason I didn't do this earlier is because I had completely forgot a step. Like I did foundation, <coughs> powder, and then like my eyeshadow I meant to bake first. I don't know what I was thinking. But let's just go with it. I'm using the Wet n Wild Contouring Powder. Uh, this only thing I have is it's so dark for my skin tone that I actually, you'll see, I messed up a little bit. But other than that, it is really good. Um, all the products will be listed in the description box if you guys have any pro or any questions about them. Now I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and blend all of that out so my contour does not look so scary. <coughs> As Jeffree Star would say, my contour looks like I'm going to cut a bitch. <laughs> now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, baked bronzer blush palette. I don't know why I didn't take a picture of it, but I'm using the, uh, the pinky shade from their palette. Now I'm just going to go underneath my eyelids with a little bit of black eyeshadow to smoke them out. I mean, you guys have seen black eyeshadow before. I really don't think I need to show that to you guys. Um, the trick is to not get so close to the waterline that you make yourself cry. I've done that before and it's not really fun. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to put a little bit of that pressed powder on my lips to make a kind of a clean, uh, clean base for my darker lipsticks. It's kind of like what I do. Oh, now I'm putting the lipstick on. Um, I'm using a dark toned red underneath. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using a cranberry. So all in all, it's going to look really nice together. It's going to turn out as a dark, vampy red color. Since I have not invested in anything else. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do an old trick to make it matte. Just put a little pressed powder on top. And it reveals itself. And there you go, guys. There's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed, and please come back next time when I have a lot more fun, and we're going to do a different fall look. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope you subscribe. Bye-bye! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A couple thoughts. Um, the foundation that I was using was NYC. I've used this for about maybe a week. No, no, longer than a week. Maybe like two weeks. And I really like the finish, but the only thing is, is it makes your skin really tacky unless you use the their finishing um, stuff, which is in the video. I put a picture in there. But other than that, I really liked how this look came out. I would have done a black in my crease, but it's not really fall. So I did a brown in my crease instead. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I didn't do was mascara, or I didn't film it doing mascara, but I meant to do it. I think I accidentally deleted the clip when it wasn't, like, meant to be deleted. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. There's a new video going up every Saturday night. So, I'll pre-record the video Friday, edit it Saturday morning-ish if I don't have to work, and then upload it Saturday night. And we'll be up there Sunday morning. So I hope you guys had a have a wonderful weekend or week or whatever it is. 
and I love y'all.